Kilmarnock and Hearts will contest the first of four via play cup quarter finals tomorrow night. So I'm at the Orium in Edinburgh to hear from the Hearts camp ahead of the big match. The big news coming out of Hearts this morning is of course the fact that the club have agreed to extend the contract of Cami Devlin, keeping him at Tynecastle until at least 2025. So he was on press duties this morning and his message to the Hearts fans is to stick by him and his teammates through this tough run of games where they have lost five out of their last six. Just stay with us because you know we're working so hard. Um, we've obviously Got to rectify that into performances and that starts tomorrow. We've got an opportunity to, to take Hearts back to Hamden and that's an experience I've had in my first season and um, I know in that change room we're all desperate to, to bring that back to Hearts. Um, yeah, so we're, we're working so hard, but we believe so much in, in our coaches and what they're bringing to us and, and us as players are doing everything in our power to, to turn it around. It's a perfect chance for Hearts to try and rectify their poor form as of late. They're just one win away from a trip to Hamden for the semi-finals of the Via Play Cup. But standing in their way is a formidable side at home. Derek McInnes' Kilmarnock, who have already knocked out the holders of this competition in the previous round. And like many others who travel to Rugby Park, Cammy Devlin is not a fan of the playing surface. Yeah, to be fair, there's no point saying it doesn't affect it because it definitely does. I think... Um even the Kilmarnock boys will probably tell you they don't like playing on it. But at the same time, it's for their 11, for our 11, it's the exact same for both of us. So you can use it as an excuse if you like, but um, it's the same for every player that's playing. Obviously, it affects your touch, it affects the speed, it affects everything, to be honest. It's been over a decade since Hearts were able to taste domestic cup success. They've come ever so close in that interim period, reaching a multitude of semi-finals and finals. The manager, Stephen Naismith, fell just short as a player, but he's hoping to be the one to return silverware to Tynecastle, this time as manager. The day-to-day -day and the week-to-week, -week, in terms of signing a new contract, um, playing X amount of games, is, is one, one achievement. But if you want real success in that's defined by winning trophies um, as a player fortunately I managed to do that and I know what it takes so um, hopefully us as a squad can do it